your biggest smile, okay? Yes, that's the one. Who's bossy and who's not bossy? Where I'm not bossy. I really don't think I am. She's such a liar, honestly. You just met her. You don't really know what she's like. You see, like. talks a lot. <laughs> But, but like we're like yin and yang. She's very calm and collected. She can't contain it. I <laughs> she can't. can't contain it. Is this the key to double success on the tennis court? To be able to argue like this? <laughs> we get along really well and uh, I think doubles is about communication. So yeah. Surely we had a great foundation on that. A lot of times even when we're hanging out, I'll start a sentence and she'll finish it or the other way around. Yeah, it's or... like we read each other's minds. And I think that really plays into doubles yeah. when you have someone like KG where yeah. you have such a good relationship off the court. Please welcome Alfie Hewitt and Gordon Reed. Well, how did you guys team up? Well, it was for the Paralympics, wasn't it? Yeah, it 2016 start, games. It started just a couple of years before the Rio Paralympics. Um, yeah, we were obviously both British players, and we wanted to try and mount an attack on the, the doubles medals there. So Alfie was sort of a younger guy who was yeah, up I was and like coming. Yeah, was 14 at the time, so yeah, he just, wasn't sure whether he actually just a little boy, He wasn't sure whether he actually wanted me, so <laughs> I had to prove a point. So saw that there was potential there to form a good partnership, so that's how it all kicked off. I think movement is really important because we move in cycles. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing to take home from wheelchair tennis. We don't have lateral movement because yeah. we can't do those side steps. So for us with moving, you have to do these constant diagonal Figure patterns, okay, almost so. making like yeah. a heart. You can't just stay stationary. It's like a dance, really. Yeah. And the body doubles, they're always facing the front of the court. They're always facing their opponents. Whereas when you're in a chair, you're always turning. And a lot of times you have your back to the court or your back to each other. So you have to communicate more so you know where each other are on the court. We've been together for four years now, so we know how we move around the court and kind of what's our ball and, and, how, and how we cover each other. It's, um, you know, it is a skill and it, it, does, it does take a while to you know, master. But what's different, wheelchair, tennis, doubles? I would say that there's a little bit less of net play, yeah. at least with the women's doubles. With men's wheelchair doubles, you'll see pretty much identical to, to the tennis that you're used to seeing here the past week. I've been playing now for 12, 13 years, and when I first started playing, Nobody really came to the net, everybody was just sitting at the back and it was just the first person to miss, lost the point. Whereas now you'll see players coming in and out, switching, crossing over, lobs, volleys. You know, you'll see a whole variety of shots which, which weren't there a few years ago in the game. Is it, is it tougher now than it was 13 years ago? Is it more athletic? Absolutely, yeah. I, th I think you know, the, the, the sport as a whole has professionalised a lot more over the last few years. Um, partly due to the fact that you know, the Grand Slams and the US Open have taken more interest and, and uh, invested more into the, the game. So players can now commit full time, whereas everybody used to work at the same time as trying to play. So everybody's now, everybody at the top of the game is now professional players that you know, are full time athletes. So you know, everybody's stronger, everybody's faster, everybody's fitter. So you know, obviously then it's harder to, to win matches. The level goes up 